Good morning, Libby friends. We're glad you're back again today. Here we're in our series on Facebook and just how you can use Facebook to be an effective property manager. Um, so most of ours are do-it-yourself landlords. They don't often refer to themselves as property managers, um, but the reality is that's one of their hats that they wear. So don't forget that if you are engaging in an online community, the thing is you have to connect. So you can't just be all about post, post, post. You have to be looking to grow an audience, looking for like-minded individuals, whether that's residents, whether that's partners for your next property. Make sure you're connecting. You're looking at other people's posts. Just, I'll call it just tetiquette. <laughs> Thanks, Sabrina, for that word. Just tetiquette that you go back and you respond to their posts and you look through Facebook and you uh, read what other people are doing. Remember, this month was Facebook. We'll also talk about LinkedIn, but the idea is you want to grow that community. You want to be sincere, authentic, You know, look for things you care about, share those things for, that other people post. They'll be obviously doing the same with yours if you're providing valuable content. So make sure there's a connection. So that's all we have for today. If we can help you personally, whether it's through the classroom, whether it's done for you work, let us know. That's info at mylandlordhelper.com, info at mylandlordhelper.com. We can use some more subscribes here um, at youtube.securepay1. And we'll, we'll look for you um, on the next day. Thank you.